So that was my daughter. Um, <sighs> that was my daughter. Um, okay, so as I was saying, you have a friend who is the same sex as you. They're attracted to you, but they're on the DL, okay? They're not telling you. But they are whispering shit in your ear to lead you astray from the person you're meant to be with because they want to be with you secretly, okay? That is the big exposure. That is the tea that is happening. There is someone who is the same sex as you who wants to be with you and is trying to manipulate you out of your uh, connection with someone, yeah. They're trying to manipulate you out of your ten of pentacles, okay? They want you to think badly of this person. They are literally talking trash on this person right in front of you, but they're pretending like... You know, they're on your side and they're keeping it real. But they're really not. See, th they have secrets. And their secret is that they want to be with you. They want a uh, new beginning with you. They want to take a leap of faith with you. They don't want you taking a leap of faith with this person. Because they want you. Okay? Yeah, but you're going to anyway. I mean, literally, this is what we have on the deck. Or on the spread. We have Ten of Pentacles, uh, the Fool, and the Four of Wands. So, you are literally... Jumping into a marriage that's going to lead you to a lot of prosperity and happiness, okay? And this person is trying to be hidden as your friend. He's right in front of your face. You have a Judas right in front of your face, okay? That is the T. This person is heartbroken right now. I just saw that because they know that you have options. They know that you would not be with them. And that's why they're doing everything they can to keep you in confusion. Look, yeah. And this person is going to experience bad health. This person's already paranoid about this and scared that this is going to happen because they know what they've been projecting out. And they're about to get it back. And they know it. So, I mean, that's sad for them because they were immature in their ways of handling the situation. I mean, if you want to be with somebody, just tell them you want to be with them. Don't manipulate them out of their blessings. That's fucked up. See, they were fighting you. They were literally fighting you. Look, strength. They were doing everything in their power to keep you from whoever this is. And I'm telling you, they're your friend. You think they're your friend. Yeah. It's all backfiring. It's all coming back on them. They wanted you to stay tied to them. They wanted you bound to them. They kept manipulating your head and telling you all this confusing shit, trying to get you away from your person because they were literally the toxic one in your life that wanted you, okay? And they really wanted to have sex with you. They're very attracted to you, whoever it is. I mean, I'm all for it. If you were into each other, go for it. But this person isn't into this other person. And they're literally deliberately trying to hurt this person and keep them from their blessing. Yeah. And they're doing uh, divination on them. They're reading about them and the other person. They're literally reading about their future together to keep them apart. That's what they're doing. Yeah, because they don't want this new beginning. Queen of Wands in reverse. This person, okay, so this person, if it is a male, he operates in his female energy. That's why I've been picking up a lot of female energy uh, from this hater in the background, okay? There are exes out there that are haters. But this person in particular, if it is a male, he operates in his female energy. So he pops up as the Queen of Wands in reverse because uh, that's, that's who he's being. He's being a witch, basically, um, in disguise, and he's doing it for bad reasons it's going to come back on him but you're going to get a new beginning okay whoever this queen of wands this male operating in this feminine energy he's not going to get what he wants out of this period point blank yeah because you're getting a victory and this person's not this person's going to watch this they're going to literally sit back and watch you get a victory while they are thrown to the wayside okay because like i said watch that one video i'm telling you about your friend that has a lot to do with this look three of swords and this one just popped out, Wounded Warrior. This person is a Wounded Warrior, okay? Because they know that their plans are coming back on them. So any evil, negative thing that they have uh, projected onto somebody else, it's all coming back on them. This is not good for this person. I'm telling you, and they feel it. They're paranoid. They're bad paranoid, yeah. Because they don't have you bound up in the illusions anymore and the bullshit. They were lying to you. They were lying to you, but you become enlightened to that. You become enlightened to their manipulation. They are not your friend. They're not your friend, okay? They want to be more than friends. They want to build something with you. But this truth is about to stop this shit. Yeah. And you're going to look forward to the future without this person in it, okay? Like I said, hangman, you've been enlightened, okay? Three of swords with uh, the king of swords. So you have, and the seven of cups. So you have been enlightened to the fact that um, this person was trying to backstab you and hurt you and put you in a third party with them. Even though they weren't telling you this, they just wanted to be your friend, but they're not just your friend, not in their eyes. They want to keep you from everyone. They want to bind you up and keep you from people so they can have you. They don't want you to have options. Okay, they don't. Whoever this is does not want that. Okay, Archangel Michael. And they're watching you. They're spying on you. They're watching. If you do readings or anything online, they're watching you. Okay, 
they're they're keeping up they want to make sure that you know their plan comes into fruition and not yours but that's not going to happen that's not going to happen yeah look sun magician and the world I pull good cards, okay, because I have a good energy, okay? Good karma comes to me, period. If you're pulling shitty cards, that means that you've got shitty karma, okay? A lot of the times when we read cards, we're reading our subconscious. We're reading things within us a lot of the time. And a lot of the time, people in the tarot community tell on themselves through their cards, and they don't even realize it. But what I'm saying is, you are going to be happy and fulfilled. Um, You're going to have your happy family life, happy everything. This person's not going to be a part of any of this, okay? They're going to be this person on the outside looking in. Um, you're manifesting your happiness because you're going to close the cycle out with whoever this individual is. Because they, like I said in my old reading, they have to go. Yeah, and you have a feeling about this. You, If you've been reading about them, you've been picking something up. You've been picking something up. Something's off about this individual and you know it. Okay? What's the final outcome for this Archangel Michael? Final outcome for this whole crazy situation. I mean, I'm telling you, man, this is a T. Okay, this is a tea. This shit ties in with everything. This bitch, look, this bitch, this uh, queen of swords of reverse. This is not a girl. This is a guy. This is a dude. He's operating in his feminine energy because he wants to be with you. Okay? And he's manipulative, sociopathic. He wants his way, but he knows something's coming. Look, God bless Jesus. Look. He's not only sociopathic and evil with the things he says and the way he manipulates people. He also is spiritually sociopathic. He likes to hurt people spiritually. He is a spiritual manipulator. There's a special place in hell for people like this. Look. And he's watching. I'm telling you, he's watching. I don't know, man. God, be with whoever this is because their karma is about to hit. Yeah, no more manipulation, no more lies, no more sneaky behavior. You see the truth. You know who this is now. You know he's out to get you because he wants you. Okay, so you're going to move forward. You're going to get the fuck away from this person. Because they're not a good person in your life. They're an immature, ugly individual. They're not good to you. Yeah, and they watch you. They spy on you. So get away from them. Okay, that's all I have to say. But okay, that's a team. Like I said, you've got a friend uh, somewhere. He... He or she, it could be a female, you know, it's not gender specific, but they are the same sex as you. And they do not want you with anyone new because they want you for themselves, which is crazy. I can't believe I picked this up, but it's the truth. This is what's happening. So they're manipulating you. They're talking shit in your ear about this other person because they don't want you together. They want to be with you themselves. They're just not going to tell you that. Okay. And they're going to be the wounded warrior after this all comes out. But, okay, I just wanted to put that out there. This was a huge deal because it ties into a lot of shit. A lot of these feminine energies I've been picking up have not been from a feminine. It's been from a masculine warlock, tarot reader, dark spiritualist who is doing everything in his power to keep this man from this woman because he wants this man. Okay, he wants him. It's crazy, but it's really happening. And you're still getting your Ace of Cups, whoever you are, okay? Because you're going to cut this person out. You're going to know immediately who I'm talking about. And you're going to get him out of your life. Okay? Because he's he's casting spells. And he's he's doing bad shit. Okay? He's a bad person. Uh, he's a bad person. But okay. I love you all. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for watching. This was like mind-blowing to me. I knew this was going to come out. Because I've gotten this months and months ago. This download about somebody being exposed. Uh, about their sexuality. And this is exactly what it was talking about. This person is being exposed as I speak. So... I don't know. I send love. I send prayers. I send healing to everyone involved. And I pray that um, this detachment from this person will be easy. Um, but I love you all and I'll be back later. Thank you.